Okay, class. So we will start with cleaning agents as we have discussed about the cleaning equipments in your last class. So we know that if we want to clean a surface, we require certain kinds of cleaning agents, right? For example, if we need to clean the tiles of the bathroom, we require an agent for that. If we need to clean the surface of the table again, for that also we require the cleaning agents. There are certain things which can be cleaned without using any agents. And there are things which needs to be cleaned with the help of cleaning agents because there are marks, the stunburn marks, which cannot be cleaned by just the duster or maybe by just using only water. So we require agents for cleaning or removing those marks completely. And one more thing, as we have discussed in last class also for we need to select the cleaning agent accordingly. So first we need for the selection of the agent, we need to understand the type of cleaning agent which we'll be picking for cleaning. Like we need to understand the mark, whether it is the coffee mark or it is the tea mark or maybe water or oil. Next thing which will be, we need to notice or understand that type of surface which has to be clean. For example, we need to clean the marble top or tabletop wooden, maybe a television screen or laptop screen, or maybe there are a lot of things in the uh, guest room, for example, headboard of the television, the glass top. So we need to also think about the surface that what type of surface has to be cleaned. Next thing which we will thinking for taking a selecting a cleaning agent will be our like composition of cleaning agent. It should not be hard. For example, it should not, if we are using a cleaning agent, it should not be like in that term that it can harm the surface. As we have discussed in previous unit also that the general criteria for selecting a cleaning agent, we should clean it in that way, which should not harm the surface of the table or maybe marble, whatever it is, it should be in the same state as it was earlier. Ease of use, it should save the time and efforts as well. Toxic toxicity and your side effects of a particular cleaning agent. Next thing would be odor. Uh, if I am going to use a particular kind of cleaning agent, for example, a room freshener or maybe a sanitizer or maybe a uh, glass cleaner, it should not be uh, leave any kind of odor behind it and range of action or versatility, whether I can use it only for cleaning just glass or maybe I can clean the wooden flooring as well. If I can use this particular agent for cleaning marble top or maybe tiles. So we need to also range the range of action or maybe versatility of a particular cleaning agent. Next will be the shelf life of the cleaning agent. For example, for how long I can use that cleaning agent. So it has to be utilized within the months or maybe within the years. So I would be also thinking about the timings or the shelf life of the cleaning agents. Shelf life is for how long I can use the particular cleaning agent. Next is the packaging volume and the quantity. In how much amount do I need to spend and in what quantities I'm going to receive the cleaning agent. I need to think on that also. Next, one thing for selecting a good cleaning agent, I need to be a very cost effective, whether that particular cleaning agent is cost effective or not. So these are the basic journal criteria for selecting a cleaning agent. Next is, Okay, guys, do you have any question? Am I audible to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are there any questions to be asked from your side? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. And can we use a strong agent for cleaning the surface or no? Okay, so when we talk about the cleaning of a surface, we need to think about the mark also. First, we need to look at the surface and the cleaning agent which we are using for cleaning the surface, we should use in that way that which should not harm the surface. There are cleaning agents which are actually hard 
and while we use them we need to take care of ourselves also for example we need to wear mask while we are using them like your acids and alkalis when we use them and for example if i give you an best example could be your when we give clothes for the dry cleaning right so the chemicals which have been used in the dry for the dry cleaning those are like your ethylated spirits or maybe chemicals which has to be utilized in a open area so when we talk about the hard agents when we use them we need to be very cautious and we use those cleaning agents in that way which should not harm the cloth and the surface also clear yes ma'am sir ma'am one more question one by one yes yes please ma'am can you explain range of action or versatility versatility and range of action it is like when we going to a market right and we see the kind of agents available in the market so versatility it is just like that it is so simple that how much amount do i need to spend on that particular agent next thing that in how much quantity do i need to use that agent for cleaning up entire area right for example if i am going to purchase a cleaning agent for example glass cleaner right so i can use that glass cleaner just only on to the glass only or i can use that glass cleaner for cleaning a laptop screen or maybe a phone screen or maybe a te a television screen so it is about the versatility yes uh, there is a cleaning agent which is there at the shop that you by using that cleaning agent you can clean your laptop screen you can clean your television screen you can also clean your mobile screen as well as you can clean the glass table top and wooden table top right and there is one glass cleaner by using that glass cleaner you can only clean the wooden top of the table so which one you will choose yes which one you will choose the one which can clean all three surface or one which can clean only the wooden surface tell me now ma'am ma'am the, ma the one which can clean all the, the one which can the clean the three surface right so it is about the range of action and the or your versatility that for example the one cleaner can clean the three types of surface then i would opt for that only right So next is my laptop. Some question. Working. Yes, please. Ma'am, what is composition of cleaning agent? Composition of cleaning agent. It is like again the chemical composition that should not harm the surface, right? Of any kind of surface. That if you use that cleaning agent, it will not harm your. surface it is just uh, regarding your chemical compositions any other question ma'am ma the what is toxicity and side or side side effects toxicity and side effects again are like for example uh, if we are using the kinds of your uh, there are hard agents right for example if i take you example of the toilet cleaner you have all you all have seen the harpic right so there are two types of harpic present in the market one is red one and other is the blue one right the one which comes in the red packaging and other is comes in the blue packaging so if you have ever noticed when you utilize them on the surface like your wash basin or maybe on the uh, wc so there are kinds of fumes which comes out of that uh, harpic right so it is about that toxicity and side effects if you if uh, ever you have just touched that harpic solution it will start itching right so it is about that how it can affect on your skin if or if we are going to use that particular cleaning agent just to clean the area is it going to affect us also is it going to affect our eyes or maybe your skin also so for example if i take you an example of uh, acid so we know that when we are going to use the acid we need to be very cautious because if we touch or if there are drops 
which are on us maybe it can burn our skin so we need to be very cautious so it is about the side effects and toxicity when we are going to select the cleaning agent so we need to also think about the side effects and the toxicity of a particular agent that it should not harm us first of all clear should we move ahead ma'am yes, yes ma'am yes please ma'am self life ma'am self life <laughs> shelf life again it is like for how long you can utilize a particular agent we use milk curd vegetables right in our day to day ma'am means vet ma'am means validity ma'am validity or not validity shelf life a uh, a uh, in simple language we can just understand if we talk about we take an example of milk so we have to consume that milk within 2 days maybe right if we try to keep it for longer it will not work it is not safe to consume or maybe jo aapka wo doodh hai wo kharab ho jayega ya fir wo doodh aapka phat jayega so shelf life jo hoti hai wo milk ki ha bilkul wo expire ho jayega to wo shelf life jo hai wo maybe aapki 24 hours hai same aapki jab hum cleaning agents pe spend karne ja rahe hain when we take it in like your agar hame hotel ke purpose se dekhna hai to hame wo longer period ke liye chahiye cleaning agent which we can use for maybe years agar aapne dekha hoga aap koi bhi product kharidte hain maybe it is your medicine or maybe koi bhi cleaning agent aap kharidte hain chahe wo aapka ek call in hi hai us pe time duration maine jo manufacturing date hai wo mention hoti hai plus us pe expiry date bhi mention hoti hai ki you can utilize this particular product till this date and till this month so same aapka ye agents ka bhi hota hai ki aap agar cleaning agent choose kar rahe ho खरीदने के लिए तो उस केस में आप क्या करेंगे आप उसकी शेल्फ लाइफ देखेंगे जो आप क्वांटिटी जो होगी ज्यादा होगी होटल के लिए दैट आई कैन यूज दैट पार्टिकुलर एजेंट मे बी फॉर मंथ्स और मे बी फॉर इयर्स ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि आपने कोई पार्टिकुलर एजेंट खरीदा है क्लीनिंग एजेंट और वो आपका खत्म हो रहा है विद इन दी फिफ्टीन डेज और ट्वेंटी डेज एंड यू हैव स्पेंड ऑलरेडी लॉट ऑफ मनी ऑन दैट क्लियर यस मैम कि वो लाइफ लॉन्ग चले उसकी जो लाइफ है वो लंबी होनी चाहिए मे बी फॉर एटलीस्ट फॉर इयर्स तो होनी चाहिए ठीक है ओके गाइस सो टाइम टू टेक योर अटेंडेंस नाउ आई टेक योर नेम यू नीड टू कीप योर कैमरा ऑन ओके मार्क योर आई मार्क योर अटेंडेंस यस प्लीज मैम कल आपने जब अटेंडेंस ले रहे थे तो वो मिली के बाद आपने फिर नेम कॉल आउट ही नहीं किया